I'm opening the meeting of the Water Planning Committee Sunday, uh, uh, April 23rd, 2023, 5 p.m. at Old Fremont Road. Please join me with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, we can start with roll call. Uh, Scott, why don't we start with you? Scott Campbell, Board of Selectmen. Kevin Pratt, Raymond Representative and Town Citizen. Dee Lush, Planning Board Rep. Kathy McDonald, Water Committee, Water Commission, and, well, CONSCOM, but I'm not here as CONSCOM. And Jim McLeod, Planning Board. Um, at this time, we'll open it up for public comment. If anybody would like to say anything. Hearing no public comment, we'll move on to uh, the water tower discussion. So uh, there's going to be a meeting on Wednesday between the uh, Board of Selectmen, Underwood Engineers, and Weston and Sampson Engineers. That is a work session slash public meeting. However, uh, the public has we've been informed that the public is not going to be allowed to participate. So they can observe, but they can't participate. And that seems like it's kind of a shame because there's a lot of information that the public has that is pertinent to make proper decisions, uh, you know, for the town. And uh, so to that end, I feel that we might still be able to get some representation on it as uh, if we can put forward a representative of this committee mm -hmm. as an official member of a town uh, committee and petition yes. the Board of Selectmen to allow that person to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, if you think that that's a good idea, then I'll, I'll motion that we uh, uh, present a letter to the Board of Selectmen and uh, suggest uh, something to that effect and we can work on the letter. I'll second that motion. Any discussion? discussion? Um, it doesn't have the date of the meeting in the letter. I would this is definitely a draft. draft. Yeah, this is something for us to make notes on and work off from. It would be my recommendation just to make sure that they understand what meeting we would like to speak at yep. in uh, case they have other schedules that we're unaware of. So this, this will be on the meeting that is scheduled for the 26th? If, yeah, in the first paragraph it says so. In the meeting between, just as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, look. On 4-26-23. And is that at a different time also than normal? It's at 7 p.m. Yeah, at 7 p.m. Most of your meetings are going to be at 7 now. Yeah. We, we made that motion. Or planning board itself. Do you agree, though, that I think the date should be on? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. The 26th. The 26th. Um, I do work Wednesdays, so unfortunately I can't be that person <coughs> to speak. I work so, Wednesday nights. So let's vote on uh, whether or not we want to put the letter forward. Sounds like we do. Um, Scott? Right. Yes. D, yes. Kathy, yes. Jim, aye. Okay, so then um, let's discuss who we want to put forward. So my first choice was the chief, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> because, Scott, you're going to be wearing a different hat that night. True. So you're out. Yep. Uh, you may be able to speak. Will they let me speak? Maybe. I'm curious yeah. hmm. if the Board of Selectmen will be allowed to speak, all of the members. Uh, so um, just to not create confusion, I, I don't think it would be good for you to speak for the committee yeah. while you're sitting as a planning I agree. board. Yeah. Uh, D, no, you board can't. Of as a board of select select member, member. Sorry. Just to clarify. Thank you, I misspoke. Um, and you can't make it on Wednesday. Yes, I have a committed mm -hmm. job. And uh, the, the reason for myself will uh, get to uh, later in the meeting. And uh, D, 
the only reason that you weren't my first choice is because I know that <laughs> that uh, the chief has been to the board of selectmen meetings and has been bringing up about the water tanks and and also about how that is it isn't just about tanks it's 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 a more involved problem than just the it tanks. There needs to be a, a larger plan than just the tanks. Mm -hmm. right. Replacing the tanks with the same amount of water isn't going to gain anything except for you won't have to paint the tanks. So mm -hmm. if if you're willing, then uh, I'd take a motion to. I'll make a motion that um, Kevin Pratt represent the Water Planning Commission at the Board of Selectmen meeting on April 26, 2023. I'll second that. Yeah. And I would just note that it is the Water Planning Committee, not the Commission. commission. Uh, all in I'm favor? I'm in favor. Yep. Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, the letter. Um, so this is a this is a draft letter, uh, and it's to the Raymond Select Board, the Water Planning Committee, in its role to investigate all aspects of Raymond's water resources as it applies to planning, has amassed a considerable amount of knowledge regarding the water storage situation, and feel it is in the best interest of the community if a representative participate in the meeting between the Board of Selectmen, Underwood Engineers, and Weston and Sampson on 4-26-23 at 7 p.m. So that's the opening. Is there any the input changes that we like to make to that? I was writing, I'm sorry, you added the date after that, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. No, I think it, it states what our purpose has been and Okay. What we've done up till now. Uh, NHDES has on multiple occasions expressed the importance of community involvement in this process. However, the agenda clearly states that public input is not welcome. As the WPC is comprised of elected and appointed members of numerous town boards, commissions, and committees, including planning, capital improvements, budget, conservation, select board, as well as our former fire chief and current state representative, we feel qualified to uh, qualified and obligated to make sure the concerns of the residents that we represent are addressed in this forum. So after I went back and I read that, it's, we're not really representing uh, those people. That's outside of our purview. So I need to I need to back off that sentence. Um, so. Um, I would say maybe uh, take off. How about just obligated that we make our findings um, known to the select board and the public? Well, I think it's important that we are able to ask questions there because that's how we investigate and get answers to be able to report to the planning board. So I feel like it falls well within our responsibility to do a, a question and answer. Mm -hmm. The only problem that I have is is where I had said that we're, you know, qualified and obligated to represent the people of the town in this, and that it really isn't, um, I don't think so. I was we didn't just take off who we represent. The Water Planning Committee is comprised of... The concerns of the residents. Are is regarding. budget on here? Do we have a budget member? Oh, you know what, this is, I, I had changed this, and... This is not the edit because yeah, I was I went back and I was like, no, that's CIP. That's we don't have anybody on. I don't budget. think. Yeah, I was going to well, say CIP. I'm on yeah. that. I'm also on CIP, so right. that's not. Yeah, but budget. Uh, yeah, I went through and I and I crossed that off and I changed this. Excuse me. Was Tim? Tim CIP also? Well, no, we're just talking who's on this board. That yeah, we're on the board. Is there another member that we're missing? Um, Aren't we missing Tim Cahill? No. No, no, he's not. No. He was I just. He was on the. No, no, he was just a he was, he was, member of the speaking. public okay. that spoke. That was why he was there. Okay. So okay. instead of saying the residents that we represent, how addressed, do you want to just say, um, make sure the concerns of the WPC are addressed? Okay, so oh, how about yeah. the But we have had public input from residents, so yeah. I do agree there, but other than, instead of saying that we represent, just re represent. Just say, 
WPC and residents. The strength of the WPC and, and residents, residents are addressed. Yep. Yeah. That's the way to You can yes. just get rid of because the, the represent, represent word. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we're taking off budget and we're taking off that we represent. Strength of the WPC and residents are addressed in this form. And uh, simplifies it. Yeah. It seems to be like an injustice not to have someone actually speak upon this because they're making the decisions without the extra input. After we, the floor we, of the town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, the, and it's, the information that's been gathered is, is detrimental to this. Mm -hmm. Just waving a magic, you know, waving it and doing a vote without hearing from a board that's actually looked into a lot of this. And yourself who knows where everything is, yeah. How can you make that decision and make that vote without pertinent information and being on there? I mean, how many mm -hmm. votes passed Article 44? I thought that's another mm -hmm. way to gauge the voice of the people. And I agree. they really should be listening to those voices, whether mm -hmm. they're through a vote or through public comment. Our right. board of selectmen are representatives. We're not putting them as dictators. Right. I think it's really, really crucial any elected member of any board in this town should absolutely hear from the public and more so from a board who has experience and, and has put the time and effort into researching this exact issue. A lot of time yeah. and effort, yeah. A lot of time yeah. and effort. So, uh, so how about if we say uh, the Water Planning Committee is uniquely qualified and obligated to make sure that the concerns of the Water Planning Committee and, and that should actually be the planning board. How about some about um, uh, yeah, I'm not well spoken, but detrimental to making an educated decision on this also because of the you know all this stuff that's in there. It, mm -hmm. It's a shame not to utilize it. Right. You know? care, what would be the reason not to? I I, I don't right. know. Like, like, right. it, it would be like if you have to do a book report for school and they say do a book report on Abraham Lincoln, but you don't go get a book from the library on Abraham Lincoln. You just <laughs> Wing it. <laughs> you <know>? Exactly. <laughs> you need your resource. Or, or you watch uh, Abraham Lincoln <laughs> Vampire Hunter. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, I so just... I, I, I think actually, Scott, that we've cons we've covered that. We've covered that, okay. and that we've amassed a considerable amount of knowledge in the in the first paragraph. Uh, how does this sound for the sentence? The Water Planning Committee is uniquely qualified and obligated to make sure the concerns of the planning board and the residents are addressed in this forum. Like it. I'm good. Yep. You are. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, it goes on to say the WPC's ultimate responsibility is to report to the planning board our findings in public so appropriate planning action can be taken to address our considerable and persistent water issues. To this end, the Water Planning Committee has been doing research and investigation for months on the water tank deficiencies that we believe it would be unwise to ignore. There you go. Mm -hmm. Just add a comment. This is just Ms. McGarry, my eighth grade English teacher, would make sure that under after to this end, comma. Oh, you gotta be that. <laughs> <laughs> <I think so. laughs> it's best to avoid any uh, situations like that. So comma added. Uh, please consider this request for a member of the Water Planning Committee to be present and to be allowed to participate as an official envoy of a town committee. Um, how about, I don't have the right words, but rather than just present, because in my experience in watching and attending select, uh, Board of Selectmen meetings, um, when people are allowed to speak, it just seems like it's a it's a statement, and then they go sit down. There's no interaction. I would be like allowed to ask to interact mm -hmm. with the um, with ask the board and the engineers ask questions to and ask participate, participate in the discussion, in the discussion. And whatever the wording is to participate and um, interact ask? or participate in the discussion. To participate so, in the discussion yes. and ask questions. Important to 
the planning board and the residents. And then it's just discussion, dialogue, just something to really, I don't want them to read this and say, oh, we'll let them present. They'll read oh. their letter, then they'll go sit down and they'll just so ignore we, us. <laughs> would you put a period after any of the questions? So, uh, yeah, I'm right. I'm, that's I'm, exactly yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some more. If you even get that far. Okay. Please consider this request for a member of the Water Planning Committee to be present, to participate, and to ask questions important to the planning board and the residents as an official envoy of a town committee. Yeah, let's read that one more time. Keep something with it. Yeah, please consider this request for a member of the Water Planning Committee to be present, uh -huh. comma, to participate, comma, uh -huh. and to ask questions that are important to the planning board and the residents as an official envoy of a town committee. Yeah, I guess it would be a stretch to ask to be a seated participant like the engineers are. Oh. Well, the board's seated. I don't know if the engineers are there. They're just yeah, presenting. They're on the agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how to. Seated member. Um, <laughs> not se I know they can't be a seated member of the board of selectmen. I'm just, well, I really want that dialogue. Seated in, in the discussion? I don't know. I'm so just I'm, I'm not good with words. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how you could participate, you know, outside of, you know, um, we're not asking for a vote. You know, so we're asking to be able to ask questions and to participate in the discussion. Interactive dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> Not a big ask. I know. I just. I'm good. How about we request instead of please consider? That might be a little more. We, we request formally might be a little more. Formally request. We formally request. Formally request. Yep. Instead of consider, because they'll say, okay. yeah, we can I don't think that's too aggressive. No. No, oh. that's a, it's a polite way to <laughs> request something. It's a very important matter. It, it's very important. I know I can speak at least for <laughs> myself and my family. I, I value the work some of the members on this board have done, because <laughs> I know I haven't been able to do as much as some of you and it's incredible the amount of work mm -hmm. and information that's there but to compile it and, and put it together is hundreds of hours yeah and that should not be ignored by our town Definitely. well I, I think we're all in agreement on that one <laughs> uh, so how does this read uh, the water planning committee formally requests member Kevin Pratt to be present comma to participate in the discussion comma and ask questions important to the planning board and the residents as an official envoy of a town committee I like it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. make sure I can read that you will not be able to read this I'll have to I'll have to send it to you after okay. uh, thank you be well and uh, the, the, we'll work it on the sign off. The, mm -hmm. But we could have all the board I members. I would like sign. all board members to sign it. That's just yeah. my input. All right. It's so not just coming from you. It's yeah. coming I, from I think that gives a little all more. Of, all of us. Yeah. So that they can see it is just it is Multiple unanimous. committees of this board, yeah. Okay. Then um, I'll take a motion. I'll make, make a motion to accept the letter as. Drafted, and drafted, mm -hmm. redrafted, um, to present to the Board of Selectmen for the April 26, 2023 water meeting. Second. Any discussion? No. <laughs> uh, so then uh, what I'll do is, <coughs> uh, after we vote, is I will uh, rewrite this. I'll add everyone's name to it, mm -hmm. and I'll send it uh, via email tomorrow uh, to Fine. the Board of Selectmen and uh, the town manager. And uh, is anybody else? Uh, I got to sign it. Do you, oh yeah, do we 
sign. Do, uh, does, do you all have meetings to scan, sign, and uh, print it out, sign, scan, and send back to the next person? Well, it'll it, it, it'll be it'll be in an email, so we just okay. we can just do it as an email format. I mean, I like the I like to put it on you know like some nice paper and make it like that, but. I, I, I think uh, and we could John move we the can vote. sign it when we're there but and maybe get the I can't be there but I can sign it ahead of time have you sign it yeah but I, I don't want people signing a blank piece of paper though no, I <laughs> know. Know. That I'm going to backfill with our letter <laughs> yeah let me know how I mean I can sign right. it at some point if you need to I, I, just let me know so what I think would be appropriate is we'll have a hard copy that we can have as an official copy that we'll keep and we can make it part of our uh, uh, document package mm -hmm. and but for the email it will just be an electronic and we've all agreed okay. oh, we will have mm -hmm. as soon as I take the vote that we're all signing it so I'll just right. add everyone's name to it and then uh, we'll we'll have a, a fancy copy and we'll sign it at the next meeting okay. uh, for, for the record um, so I'll, I'll call for the vote aye Aye. 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 That's unanimous. Thank you. And I'm sorry, who seconded? Scott. Okay, so a um, couple of things uh, that I attach in here uh, so that we can get them in the record. One is the, uh, the acceptance of the drinking water, uh, groundwater trust fund application that we filed in October of last year uh, the acceptance letter and then there's uh, 12 pages of the of what was supplied to me as the um, for my 91a request for the actual um, application and if you'll indulge me for a few minutes I'll point out a couple of the areas of concern that I have on here. Uh, if you go to page two of six of the application, under project information. I'm sorry, page two? Yeah, two of six. Okay. Um, under project information, uh, Warren Article 10 stated this uh, as being design and construction. This application is for construction only. Uh, under number four, the total project cost of 4500000 is not the number that was on the Warren Article 10. I'm sorry, which number uh, So the total project cost. Yep. They have $4,500,000 uh, in the Warren article. It's uh, $4,602,277. Um, under five, the funding request. Uh, they have allotted $1,000,000 of the ARPA funds, not the $1,102,277 of ARPA funds that are in the Warren article 10. On page three of six, the funding plan narrative, which is uh, it's about the fourth oh. box down from okay. the top. Um, this says that the town has allocated its own ARPA funds for this specific project. No other funds are currently pending. Um, I would just note that not all of the ARPA funds are allocated in this submission. There's over $100,000 in ARPA funds that are not listed here. Um, at the bottom, under the, uh, this is in the grant request justification, and this is uh, the last sentence. It says, additionally, the town is exploring modifications to the water system connection fees as a way of ledger leveraging additional funding for the project by maximizing contributions to the town from planned developments looking to connect to the system. Uh, this is inaccurate and uh, 
as our former community development director, uh, the town manager knows that that's incorrect. All the projects that are before us now are vested and none of those connection fees would be applicable to them. Yes. Well, well, to me, that's inferring an impact fee. You don't have... It is, and what they're saying is that those connection fees that they've been working on is, is another funding option for this, but it, it isn't it's the not. way that they have it written because those projects, we cannot collect anything right. uh, that wasn't already in place when those projects got vested. Unless he's going to try to say that the $4,500 is... Well, that's the current sort it, of exactly, connection. You know, that's... How they yeah, no, I think in, in, uh, in preamble to this, which I skipped over, they do talk about how the, this study is forthcoming. Okay. So, like you said, any plan that's already hit the table cannot be changed. Yeah, right? you can't add impact right. fees to a project that's already been vested. But they can't even just implement an impact fee anyway without going through all of that. <laughs> this is true. Okay. Yes, so there's. And this is. On page four of six, outside funding sources, um, it's about halfway down the page. It says, will developers, property owners, or other private entities be contributing to the project? Oh. And uh, this is marked as no. Um, however, the plot of land that they have been talking about placing this tank adjacent to the current 156 is a uh, privately owned property so I don't know nobody knows what that deal is so we don't know if this is accurate or not uh, but again the last sentence in here says the town is also modifying the existing water service connection fees to leverage additional funds from planned private developments currently <laughs> seeking connection to the system wow. as a method to generate additional project funds and again our former community uh, development director and current town manager knows that that is an impossibility. So where was that? Uh, that same sentence, right. that same paragraph. Right here. Yeah, and then just right the last here. sentence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the next section, it says, is the applicant contributing its own funds to the project? And then they have in parentheses, cash, capital reserve, bonding from another lender, et cetera. And um, this is marked as yes, but what they haven't put in here is the $1.1 million that we do have in capital reserve funds uh, just for this purpose. Uh, and then again, they say that the town is allocating $1 million of their ARPA funds, but uh, it was represented to the voters that we would be getting the full $1.1 million and change. Excuse me while I grab the marker. Mikey, can you give me the marker with the highlighter? And just give it a shot. Do you want another one? No, I got I got all the pieces I think. Is that the state issued one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to look at me. I'll bring that up. <laughs> Of it weighs and means on Tuesday oh, yeah. presenting. I forgot to send you on cannabis. No, yeah, no, no, no. Rubbing inside. No. Oh, that's not a highlight. Oh, the bingo. I forgot to email you in advance. And <laughs> I just I hope it goes through. But what is that noise? Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think Trisha's there we go. fixing it. Uh, okay, and then it says uh, just below that. Has the applicant exhausted all other possible funding sources for the proposed project? This is marked yes, but what has been not divulged in this application is the other $100,000 plus dollars in ARPA funds. That must be somebody's jacket talking up there. <laughs> and uh, also over a million dollars in capital reserve funding. Chief, is that your? Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you need to get that? No, she's taking care of it. <laughs> All right, shut it off if you want. Uh, 
Uh, and then I would just note on page six of six, um, the authorization certification it does say by signing below, you are certifying that the information in this funding application and any other attachments are true, correct, and complete to the best of the representative's knowledge and that you are authorized to submit this funding application. So um, those So those uh, authorizations are in here and they're complete. So that's, a, that's an Annie signature? That is Ernie Crevelli's signature. Yeah. <laughs> What's in there? There you go. Rips. Um, and uh, so what it only th takes, I'm sorry, Ernie. No, no, it that's fine. It only takes the chairman of the select board to it, authorize that? It, it, it was oh, the signature, but it was voted. So the oh. other two pages of the minutes where they voted to allow that. Okay, thank you. Um, and then um, the attachment, which is a necessary part of this application, is, is the planning document. And there's three pages of this. And uh, it, again, there's incons there's a lot of inconsistency. Let's just uh, go three pages further in there. There you go. Which one do you want, Jim? Uh, so this is uh, one of three. Yeah, you're there. And Chief, you're three pages behind us right now. No, I'm not behind us. So uh, on this one, under the existing conditions, actually, we'll, we'll skip that. Um, under the project need, uh, they do say that the pending AOC also requires the town to pay penalty fees for each month the town is not in compliance with the AOC. Uh, this wording is in the... Um, uh, in, in the AOC, but it has been expressed to us on several occasions by DES mm -hmm. that that is the very last thing that they want to do, yeah. and that every opportunity is given to us to be mm -hmm. able to avoid uh, that outcome. Um, but they do continue to say this will create a significant expense for the town if the Orchard Street and Route 156 tanks are not replaced. That is untrue. Um, the AOC, as agreed to by the town, based on their input, has both of those tanks being uh, eliminated. But that is not what is required to meet the uh, significant deficiencies of the right. tank. Mm -hmm. So where's that located? I remember uh, saying that. Yeah, you're on that page. It's it's the actually the last okay. sentences. Okay, last sentences. Uh, but the, the really significant uh, misrepresentation here is that it says the replacement of the tanks will also significantly improve the town's storage facilities and meet current and future water supply needs. That's a oops, false wow. statement. Sorry. That is, uh, uh, by all the information that we have, that's incorrect. So if that is what the engineers who, are telling the Board of Selectmen... Who created this document? This document is created by the town, and this was uh, forwarded to the Drinking Water and Groundwater Trust Fund administrators uh, for their approval. I don't see where it says who presented it. Oh, it's because it's just it's part of the package. So on the first page, it does say that form form three is the planning document. Okay. So so we have submitted all of this right. as a package. So what were the deficiencies? I know as I went to one meeting and somebody was allowed to ask a question. Uh, mm -hmm. They asked them um, what what the deficiencies were, and they said that the uh, Washington Street tank was old, mm -hmm. and the other tank hasn't been painted. So are those the only two deficiencies that we know of? Pretty much nailed it right there. Yeah. So uh, what they said was is that repairs need to be made in, in the 2019 um, sanitary survey, which is the first time that the 156 tank appears what in the sanitary survey, 2019. 2019. Although that's misrepresented in here and other places where I skipped over it because it's one of the smaller things. Yeah. 
but they do say that there is uh, that they consider them in poor condition and they're grouping both tanks together because mm -hmm. Orchard Street was noted in 2013 right. and uh, has since been considered by the 2019 report it's considered to be in poor condition mm -hmm. uh, but the 156 tank is is uh, they say that it needs uh, some repair and painting inside and out that sanitary mm -hmm. survey does not mention any word about tearing down the 156 tank. No. Um, and does the this committee's research prove that to be true? That it only needs those modifications. It doesn't need to be torn down. Well, ag again, that's we only have what the the, um, the the same information that the board of selectmen and that the engineers have which is uh, the 2020 Weston and Sampson uh, report on the condition of the tanks. But so. they're stating they must be replaced, and you're saying the 2019 well, says it just needs to be... Two different things. So they're oh, saying that okay. in the AOC, um, that both tanks need to be replaced. Can and you that's, just tell what AOC stands for? Yeah, that's an administrative order by consent. And that means that you negotiate what is going to go into this order. So the town and NHDES work together to come mm -hmm. up with a plan uh, that meets, uh, that will uh, 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 take care of the deficiencies in the tanks. Okay. And the town proposed to them that they would tear down <coughs> the two tanks. And while that will uh, fulfill the, that will check all the boxes of the AOC, we can check all the boxes of the AOC without tearing down the 156 tank. And instead, using that money that we were going to put a new tank right next to it and build that tank someplace else and, and, mm -hmm. and save the 156 tank uh, so that we aren't uh, uh, falling behind in our capacity, which is absolutely yeah. going to happen if we tear both of those tanks down and replace it with a tank that is only 75,000 or 125,000 gallons more capacity. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, they, they list off uh, uh, the alternatives. This is on page two of three. Alternatives evaluated. And um, so um, option two is, is pretty much what article 44 was. And this was the original plan uh, because you will see that uh, on the last sentence, it says, this scenario presents the lowest life cycle cost to the town. Uh, this was good reasoning then, it's still good reasoning now, and it's still the, the, the lowest life cycle cost. One of the things uh, that should be pointed out is that these life cycle costs that they've put together are based on a 90-year life cycle. However, nobody is trying to save the 156 tank for another 90 years. It's right. only got it's 70 years on it now. We're looking to get 20 to 30 more years out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll give us 20 to 30 more years to decide, hey, do we need another tank? Or maybe 25 years from now, we find out that the 156 tank can be rehabbed again. Mm -hmm. We don't know. But uh, that will buy us the time to find out. And there might be new technologies. It could be. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know, you never know. Um, on section three, uh, which is similar to uh, War in Article 10. Uh, it says, um, uh, construct a new water storage tank which is sized to replace both the Orchard Street and 156 tanks. Um, this alternative assumed that the proposed tank would be constructed on the site of the existing 156 tank or the site of the existing Orchard Street tank. The existing tank on whichever site is selected would be demolished prior to construction of the proposed tank. No, that's not right, you know? That is not what we uh, were presented with. You can't, you can't do it that way because you wouldn't have enough water. <laughs> I was going to say, even, even if they put the bigger shot. tank, it's not as big as the two combined. Right, right? and it's going to take years to Well, it doesn't build it in mm -hmm. a day. It's going to take yes. months and months and months to build it, and you'll be out of that storage, storage tank capacity right. while you're building the new tank. And in fact, I think somewhere along the way they agreed to to the fire chief that they wouldn't take any tanks out of service till they put other tanks in place. So I think mm -hmm. that is why we've ended up with the 156 tank 
uh, adjacent behind it to right. the the original 156 tank. Does it say mm -hmm. that somewhere else? Because well, get... that's again we're getting to that point. Um, so it says again uh, in this scenario would increase the overall storage volume uh, within the water system to meet current and future system demands. Right. And uh, that 125,000 gallon uh, will uh, barely cover the projects that Underwood has already identified as mm -hmm. uh, of not being able to supply water to. Mm -hmm. um, and then it says that uh, this scenario has a greater life cycle cost than scenario two, and this was the recommended alternative to the town. So uh, it's a little confusing about where the uh, logic is on that one. And then in the final paragraph on this, uh, I'm sorry, the second to the last paragraph in this page, it says, uh, the town has directed the proposed tank to be located on the existing Orchard Street tank site. I'm sorry, where were you reading? Uh, this is yeah. right yeah. here. Okay. Um, the town has directed the proposed tank to be located on the existing Orchard Street site. Thus, the Orchard Street site uh, the Orchard Street tank will be demolished. The proposed tank will have a capacity of 800,000 gallons. Oh my goodness, they wouldn't have room for the tank that size up there. They uh, barely have room for the tank that's up there now. Mm, maybe. I'm going to say using Welch's property to do that. Uh, and then it, it goes on to say the Route 156 tank will be drained and disconnected from the town's distribution system. Oh. does not say that it will demolish it on this one. So there's some confusion about what's happening with that tank. And uh, again, that's not in the Warren article that was presented to the voters. Uh, on the final page, in the third paragraph down, it says, the final sentence, it says, the Orchard Street tank site was selected by the town because the land is town owned and currently contains a water storage tank as previously stated. Uh, that is not what was in Article 10. And uh, where it says number six, estimated project cost, look at the uh, sentence above that it says the town has invested 1 million of their ARPA allocation to this project and has also funded the engineering design of the tank in April 2022 using 137 dollars 137 dollars from the town's capital reserve fund see, I see. so you hit already uh, 1 1 million 107 thousand already right it was supposed to be coming from half, but instead 137,000 is coming from the CIP. Well, it says the town's capital reserve mm. fund, so I don't know if that's the town's fund or if that's the water fund. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's confusing about where those funds came from. And because they're talking about ARPA, uh, it's, it seems like there might be um, some confusion as was that 137,000 paid out of the ARPA funds? or was it paid out of the town CRF or was it paid out of the water CRF? Uh, it's very unclear. Uh, and uh, so it says capital reserve fund there, but then two, three paragraphs down, it says the town has investigated, has invested 1 million of their ARPA allocation to this project and utilize this fund to initiate design of the tank in April 2022. So now they're saying that it was ARPA funds that were used. So is it town funds, is it water funds, or is it ARPA funds? And I'm just mm -hmm. curious, if the Warren article came out in 2023, why would they invest funds to design a tank in April of 22 without the Warren article? I would further wonder why they were uh, submitting the tank location as and representing it as Orchard Street to the fund administrators and not the adjacent site that they knew about when they yeah. filed this application. Can you answer part of your question, Dean? 
is because when I caught wind of them putting it on the Welch property for the developer, I made a stink about it. Because then that means the developer would basically own our water tower, in a sense. You know, right. They're going to give us an easement, all of that. But there was a reason they wanted it there. They need that head pressure for fire suppression. Right, because it's a four-story building. So yeah. on top of a three hundred. We were putting elevation. the and, and I made a big stink about that, and mm -hmm. that's probably why everything started getting moved around and shifted, and because I didn't think it was fair the taxpayers are putting the bill for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. if if he wants the tower there, he should kick in the land and the tower money. He right. doesn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just donating the land. He's just donating the land in the easement so we can go. Make sure it's working properly. Yeah, that was it. So, so uh, it's a lot to absorb. It's a lot to yeah. absorb, and this is not even getting into the details. This is just sort of some of the big stuff. Hundred thousand dollars here. Where did these funds come from? You list them in two different spots. The tank is all over the place where it's going, and uh, and there's a lot lost in this uh, about the people that live south of 102. Um, in the Blueberry Hill area and mm -hmm. uh, Strawberry Lane, that, that whole yeah. area down there and near where, where you are. All of this new development, they're right on the cusp of not <coughs> having enough fire flow down there. Mm -hmm. And putting a, uh, another tank in one of these existing locations is not going to improve that. Mm -hmm. So we have to look at maybe siting a new tank somewhere else I think you're right at the end of your road, Kathy. <laughs> yeah. Is a good spot. If we can find out who well. owns that property, it's not on GIS. Um, so uh, it, it's, it's a lot to think about, something to take back and, and peruse. Uh, but if you have any questions about it at any time, you can always reach out to me. Um, are these, uh, other than obviously, but are these the questions that Kevin will present if he's to allowed that. to? <laughs> I'm going to allow Kevin to read the room when he's there and, and pr present but it. But we're going to give him maybe way. some of these questions that we've, we've discussed. Well, I, I think that's yeah, why I'm going over the points right? so that, we, you know, he's we, we, we can't give an agenda, walk in with an agenda. We have to be able to go by what they're doing there. And I think it's a combination of both. But So the study that we know right now, is that Weston, which which one, who did the study that we know right now is uh, 200,000 gallons short a day? That's Samson, right? Weston no, and Samson? No, you're talking about on the supply side. That's, right. that's Underwood Engineers. Underwood did that one? Okay. Yeah. And that isn't a full study. That was just a planning, that was a letter to the planning board uh, advising us yep. uh, of oh, very gosh. top level. So it's just a letter, but it's, it's accurate. Six page letter. Uh -huh. um, so we've uh, uh, we've got about ten more minutes left, and uh, is there any staff updates? Not for me. Or new business? I know there's a water uh, oh. thing coming up. That yes. You have to register for um, on the sixteenth of May. Right? May May sixteenth, Tuesday, May sixteenth. There is, um, we'll have to get the information put up. Uh, we'll have to, we'll, we'll attach it to the minutes. Is that uh, SSI? Drinking water. Uh, no, the, uh, this is, this is a, a drinking, uh, drinking and source water protection uh, seminar yeah. uh, that's put on by oh. DES, DES or the mm -hmm. Department of, okay. Um, so I'm attending, I, I know the yeah. others are attending. And uh, uh, the, the bigger presence that Raymond has at this, the better it will be for the town. So it's $45 to sign up, but <laughs> it's worth it. $45. I initially said I could go. Then I said, oh, another job coming up. I probably couldn't go. And now that job is delayed two weeks. So I should be able to. Oh, there that. you go. Ooh. Nice. Okay, uh, then uh, let's move on to the meeting minutes of January 3rd. Do you need a motion or do you want to discuss it first? Um, if, if anybody has any changes that they want to make, we can do that now. Or um, if nobody has any changes, then we can make a motion. 
I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes on hand. Um, did I? Oh, I go. have attachments, but as a, a bulleted item. Um, did this one would have been on pub RCTV, correct? Yes. So this should one was I on just RCTV. note that to retain the? I know because we are a committee of the planning board to make sure that the video is preserved as part of these minutes. I, I, uh, who seconded? We haven't made a motion no, no. yet. We're just talking about changes. Oh. Uh, well, I agree with that. I, that's makes perfect I've sense. I've made that argument for a long time now. You know that. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, um, so, would you... Revise your motion. I'll revise my motion to include these changes. I'll second. To accept. Um, and I'm still reading. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Sorry. I thought you were going to start correcting dots and <laughs> T's, and I was going to say, oh, come on, this isn't a planning board meeting. <laughs> That's not happening anymore at the planning board. <laughs> See how easy I would admit it, so. I, I just always say let the video. You know? Well, I mean, I understand both sides from yeah. the legality side. The lawyers, judges, they, they, knew, they need something written. But the summary, as long every as you time can you mention back, minutes at the planning board, I'm like, oh, here we go. Now it's going to be. No, we're in the summary two hours. format now. Mm -hmm. Since. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all we just haven't, we haven't got to do them yet, but. We will. We're Next very meeting, close. Be prepared. Very I close. will be, because you know what? Looks good. Okay, then I'll call for the vote. Scott, yes. Um, was I there? Yeah, you were there. I was there. I'll second it. Uh, we're, it's been motioned and seconded. We're just looking for A's and A's. Yes. Yes. Kathy, yes. Aye. That's so unanimous. That's the only amendment. Right? Yes. That is correct. <laughs> we have another All right. public comment. Public has been closed. <laughs> public comments closed. Well, that's going to get taken out of context. <laughs> um, so thank you. There's one uh, final piece of business before adjournment. Um, so this is regarding a letter of resignation. Uh, this is from me to the Water Planning Committee. Uh, it has been my pleasure to serve with all the members of the Water Planning Committee and with the public in supporting our mission statement, which is to investigate all aspects of Raymond Water Resources as it relates to planning, which includes promoting the public health, safety, convenience, and welfare of the residents. The committee will adhere to all regulations and laws. The committee will report to the planning board at regular meetings and add its findings to the public record. Due to my involvement in the water tank warrants, I no longer feel I can exercise the authority of the Water Planning Committee without generating the appearance of conflict. I believe all the actions I have taken as the chairman have been considered and free of bias, but I do not want the good work of the Water Planning Committee to be called into question. Therefore, with humility and appreciation, I hereby submit my resignation to the Water Planning Committee. Until new officers are selected, Vice Chairwoman Kathy McDonald will assume the duties of acting chairwoman. With sincerity, James McLeod, Raymond Planning Board Member. Thank you very much, all of you, for your participation and your support. You're welcome. Thank well, you thank for you, all Jim. of your work. Do we have to accept the resignation? Make a motion, <laughs> <laughs> make a motion to accept the resignation of James McLeod. I will second. Discussion? Aye. Boo hoo, we're disappointed, but we thank you for all we your hard work, Jim. We understand where you're coming from. So we'll be filling this seat with. If anyone well, else we first would like let's to. Accept yeah, accept his resignation. Oh, I thought we all voted. I, we I didn't seconded. Vote yet. We did, made a motion. <laughs> I second. Or I made a motion. You seconded. And you have to call for the vote. Oh, what is the vote, please? <laughs> Scott, yes. 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 And now, would anyone else like to become the chair? 
I can't. I'm, okay. I don't think it's right for a board of selectmen member to be. And I'm the chair of the planning board, so I don't care. I'm not going to do it right now. All right, so I will do it then. Yes. Oh, we're not electing officers. Oh, we're not electing officers. Oh, we're we do that later. We'll do that later. You're the acting chairperson anyway. Good. It falls on you. <laughs> so we can adjourn. All right. Can I make adjourn. a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All, those, all in favor, yeah. Aye. 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 Yay. Meeting is adjourned at what time? 554. 554.